For over a half a century, Cox High School has not been known as a football school, but the Falcons have made the playoffs the past two years, won playoff games, and right now look poised to earn a spot in the state playoffs again. What's the secret? Brian Parsons traveled to Virginia Beach to find out. If it bounces outside, take it if it comes With the playoffs inside. coming up next month, the Cox Falcons are a contender to make another postseason appearance. Coach Bill Stakelski's team has been in the playoffs the last couple of years, even picking up the first postseason wins in school history, and that means expectations. So this year, our goal is to win two playoff games, and uh, if we go further than that, then, you know, that's great. But I think we've been able to uh, establish a winning tradition and, um, and, and build on it every year, and that's the key. Cox has a reputation for being a disciplined team. Not a lot of penalties, protecting the ball, and sticking to the fundamentals. There's no secret formula. It's just hard work. It's discipline. It's, um, you know, we don't throw the ball around like we did the last couple of years because we just don't have the, the players to do it. So we modify what we do. So our plan is to just keep it simple with them, to not try and reinvent the wheel and not ask them to do something they're not capable of doing. One of the team leaders, senior Jordan Williams, one of the best players in the state. The big defensive lineman has earned a scholarship to one of the best college football teams in the nation. Jordan is definitely, he's the leader of the defense. He's the leader of the team um, by default. He's been um, playing as a freshman, so he's definitely earned the right to, uh, to have that leadership role. He's committed to Clemson. He's, he's been a standout player for us, and he, uh, he also plays offense. You know, I'm sure he'd love to be sitting down on the bench getting some rest when we're on offense, but uh, again, we don't have enough guys, and we don't have that luxury. In more than five decades as a school, Cox has never won a Beach District title. The Falcons are one of four teams in the beach with a 5-1 and one record, and the players are hoping that this is the year. The coaches have been doing a good job of getting us ready for the games each week, and um, I think more people are coming out for the team, wanting to do better and improve the record, trying to beat last year's record. For the past couple of years I've been here, you know, it's been talking about breaking records for Cox football team, and, you know, this team is definitely one of those teams that can. Four regular season games remain, and then it's on to the playoffs. In Virginia Beach, Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap. And to find out how Cox does tomorrow night for the best high school football coverage in the state, join me. For Friday Night Flights at 11.15, only on Wavy TV 10.